Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your June reading. Hey, Gemini. This is Amanda from Amanda Rose Tarot. And we are here today to do your June monthly reading. So I'm switching things up a little bit. I'm doing two readings. Um, the first reading I'm going to do is for the Gemini singles. And then we'll do the Gemini couples. So as some of you know that I am a Gemini and I am a single. So let's get some cards. Let's see what's going to be happening for us for the month of June. What can we expect? Okay, we've got the chariot. So um, could be cancer sign. Doesn't have to be. Let's get some more cards for Gemini singles. What can they expect to be happening in the month of June? Can we get some cards for Gemini singles, please? Okay, we've got the Three of Swords, we've got the Eight of Wands, oh, and we've got the Two of Cups. So not too bad. Let's get some more cards for Gemini Singles. What can they expect to be happening in the month of June? Hmm. Okay, we've got it's the Six of Swords and also the Mouse or Mice. I guess it's called the Mouse in this particular deck. We've got the Wine and this is also the Queen of Wands. So it could be dealing with a uh, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Doesn't have to be. No. Okay, we've got the anchor and the five of pentacles. Let's get a clarifier for that two of cups. Okay. Ooh. We've got the Seven of Cups and the Stork card. Okay, so Gemini Singles, I see that um, there has been some loss. There has been, um, there have been some difficulties that you've been going through, um, but you're recovering from them. You're actually moving on from those difficulties, um, you're done with that. You're done with the the bad times. You want to move into calmer waters. I mean, so you're definitely um, on your journey. You are moving forward and you're transitioning to um, something better. You know, there have been a lot of difficulties uh there's been loss there could have been people that just stole your peace of mind there could have been people that broke your heart um i feel this disappointment there is sadness there's been some sort of separation um or some love lost and but i still see you as a person who you're just super strong. You're just a person who you have a lot of power to keep on going and you're just a passionate person. So you have courage to keep moving, even though it's difficult. And, you know, it could be really difficult right now with the, um, the five of pentacles. Um, it could be that you're worried about hard times. You're worried about all of these responsibilities that you have with the anchor. Um, 
there will be success. There will be success, but it's going to have to involve communication and it's going to have to involve maybe loosening up a little bit. And I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm just saying that if you're ever going to recover from this broken heart, then you're going to have to maybe communicate about it, you know, maybe tell people um, what you've been through, maybe open up and be like, uh, I, you know, I'm a strong person, I keep going, despite what's happened to me, you know, I've had to recover from a lot of difficult things in my life. Um, it could have been moving, it could have been, you know, car trouble, I feel like there's a lot of trouble that you've had. It just seems like um, you've been going through all of these storms one after another. And even money, you know, like worrying about money, worrying about responsibilities. But the thing to do is to kind of loosen up and maybe open up to people about that. I feel like there's a lot of people that Gemini would love to be with you that really do um, you know, have this vision of being with you. They really daydream about being with you. They fantasize about being with you, but maybe it's just the fact that you, you aren't able to communicate very well because you have been through so much, you know, despite the fact that you're recovering, um, it is hard for you to open up, maybe unless you have a couple drinks, you know, maybe that's the answer is have a couple drinks and then have a conversation with um, people. But I do feel like at the end of the month, there is going to be a love connection for you. There's going to be some sort of relationship um, coming in for you, some sort of partnership. And it's going to feel really good. It's going to feel like you finally found the person that you're looking for um, because I feel like you are really uh, a person who likes to be in a relationship, Gemini. Um, despite the fact that a lot of people think Geminis don't, I think that you do. You do really want to be in a relationship. You want to have that place that's comfortable, that feels like home, where you can let your hair down and you can be yourself. Um, you can open up and maybe tell this person about everything that you've been going through. And I think that is definitely something that's going to happen for you. You're going to find that person that you can open up to, be vulnerable, and lots of communication. You need that. That's what Gemini is really good at communicating. They need someone that can communicate with them. Okay, we've got make the sacrifice. So this could be, I mean, I get the dark side with this card. It's very dark card. Um, it could be that to get what you want, you're going to have to give part of yourself up. So like I said, it's about opening up and sacrificing that little bit of you and not worrying so much about um, their perception of you, you know, uh, you could be worried about what they're going to think of you, their perception of you, if you tell them everything that you've been through. But really, I think that that's what's needed here. Um, if you want to be in this, you know, partnership with someone, then you have to make it happen. And to make it happen requires you opening up and giving of yourself, you know, really giving of yourself, that dark side of you, you know, and I feel like if this person really loves you, they're not going to turn away from you, you know, because everybody goes through these times of weakness. Everybody goes through these times where they really could use the advice. They really could use um, talking to someone, opening up to someone. And I think that you're going to meet that person that you can open up to and you can tell them about 
the different things that you've been through in your life. And I think that's what's going to be the thing that's going to make this person, you know, want to be with you because they could be really confused right now as to what what's going on with you because maybe you just haven't opened up to them or talked to them. And there could be a lot of different people that you haven't done that with. Um, but it's something that needs to be done. So that's what I have for you, Gemini singles for the month of June. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Appreciate you guys so much. So now we're going to do Gemini couples. What can Gemini couples expect for the month of June to be happening? Okay, we've got the Ten of Swords. Let's keep going. Gemini couples for the month of June. What can Gemini couples expect? Okay, we've got the Queen of Swords. So uh, that is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Libra, Aquarius. We've got the High Priestess. Gemini couples, we've got the Queen of Pentacles, so Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, let's get some clarifiers for Gemini couples for the month of June. What can they expect to be happening? Okay, we've got the ring. And this is also the Queen of Cups. So we even have water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So you could be dealing with any of those signs. Okay, what do we got here? A whole bunch. We've got the Nine of Wands and the Park. We've got the Four of Cups and the Fish. We've got the Fool card. And we've got the Rose and the Nine of Swords. So Gemini couples. Okay, with this commitment that you're in, there's been, I feel like there's been something that's happened in your connection um, something, something that wasn't good, you know, it, it felt like defeat. It felt like someone stabbed you in the back and it could have been someone, uh, your person, you know, cause this is about couples. Um, so you could feel as if your person, you can't trust them. You have to protect yourself. I mean, you have to be on defense because... You love them and you're just not getting treated the way that you want to be treated. So I feel like this is a burden on you to have to deal with the fact that, you know, you're just not getting treated the way that you want to be in this relationship. And it could really stress you out. You could be depressed. You could have a lot of worry, sleepless nights. Um, but I think the truth is, is that a lot of people would love to be with you. And if you are in this connection where it just doesn't feel good anymore, it feels like you can't even say anything. Um, you're just always on defense and you feel these burdens and heaviness. Um, you feel like you're constantly having to keep your guard up. And you could even feel as if there's something going on that you're not aware of. It's just really, really hard for you in this, um, in this connection. It could feel like, um, this person isn't really even a friend, but I mean, we're talking about couples here, but it could feel that this person isn't even a friend to you. And so you've had to kind of put your defenses up. If this person wants to come towards you, 
you still have to guard yourself, you know, and it just feels like you can't, you can't breathe freely around this person. It just causes you so much stress and it's like this person thinks you're prickly but it's just that you don't want to get hurt anymore you just don't want to get hurt anymore you want to open up and be that loving person um, that is inside but because you're worried about what this person may do or not being able to trust this person you're not able to show them that side. You have to show them your defensive side when really you are a sweet person. You're a kind person. You want to be loved. You want to be in this beautiful connection where you nurture each other, where you love each other. But at this point, you can't do that. You just can't do that. So, this is really hard. I even feel like it's hard to speak. You know, it's like you're afraid to say anything because you don't know what, what they're going to do. You know, it's like you just can't trust them. You're protecting yourself. You're having to put up boundaries. It's exhausting. I don't really like this couple. I really don't like this couple. Can we get some advice? Because I just don't like the feeling of this. All right, I'm gonna pick one. Need and necessity. Okay, so I feel like you need to figure out what you really need and I think what you really need now is some comfort, you know, is some um, someone to be there to balance you out to be that rock that you can lean on, that you can turn to when you're going through this because I feel like you're going through a time where you just feel failure you just feel like maybe a failure you could feel like everything is just not good right now I just don't think that this person is helping you. They're not helping you with what you would like them to, like to nurture you, to love you. They're just not giving you what you want. You know, they're not giving you what you need. And it could be exhausting to try to keep this person around, you know? So maybe it's time just to let it go you know if it's not working out then maybe it's time to let it go and just let bygones be bygones and be like you know this isn't working out for me this is harder than it is easy and I can't continue doing this if I want to be happy if I want to be in a good place so it's like do you need this person? You know, if if this person isn't around, are you still going to be yourself? Are you still going to be a whole person? I feel like you will. You will be. It could be really hard to leave this person behind, but I feel like you can be happy without this person. So do you need them? Are they necessary in your life? What are they doing for you? Are they cheering you up? You need to get back to a place where you can be happy is what I'm feeling if you're a Gemini. 
couple. So that's what I have. I mean, that's not going to resonate for everybody. That's kind of a specific message. Um, if you would like a personal reading, then uh, my Etsy link is below. I would love to do a reading for you. Just reach out to me. But hopefully you have a good month of June. And I will talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye.